Well, we are one day away from the official start of Hoopfest, but people are already arriving and checking in. Crim 2's Channing Curtis met up with the new executive director of the tournament to talk all things basketball. Well, we are joined here right now by the executive director of Hoop Fest. We are so excited. This is Riley Stockton. Now, Riley, this is my first Hoop Fest, but this is also your first Hoop Fest at the helm of things. How's it going? It's been great. It's been crazy, but it's been so much fun uh, getting all these courts set up and just getting the vendors in. It's just a great time for Spokane. Absolutely. And so many people are coming in town from not over, not only like all over the state, but all over the country and even all over the world to come to Spokane. So for anyone who's new to the area or new to the city, what should we expect this weekend? I, I just think if this is your first one to expect it to be a little bigger than you think, give yourself a little more time to get to your game. But um, it's going to be the same hoop fest fun that we always have. Um, if you're not playing, there's still plenty of things for you to do down here. And so are there any new changes or anything new that some of the people who have been to Hoopfest over the years that they can expect? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is having Northern Quest Center Court in the pavilion. Um, it is the center of Spokane. When people think of Spokane, they think of the pavilion. Um, so to have it there um, is so exciting for our team. Um, and it's just really adds to our event. Absolutely. And it's going to be such an exciting time, especially having it back in person first time in three years that we've been able to gather together and just really celebrate the city's love of basketball. What do you think, what do you have to say to people out there who might be on the fence about coming down here? I would say just come check it out. It is such a community event. Uh, we pride ourselves uh, on being great for Spokane and um, we want Spokane to be involved as much as they want to be. You know, if you don't want to play, you can volunteer. If you don't want to volunteer or play, just come hang out. It's just such a great community event. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Riley. I can imagine just how incredibly <laughs> busy you are today, so we'll take up too much more of your time. But again, for the latest on Hoop Fest information, we will send the latest updates to you right to your phone. All you have to do is text the word Hoop Fest to the number 509-448-2000, and we'll send you a link with all of the information we have.